What's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of Simple Stick Builds. Today I'm going to be uh, working on my 2010 Lexus IS250. I'm going to be installing these. Get it focus. They're studs. If, if the camera didn't focus, they're studs. I'm going to be <laughs> replacing three studs on my car. Because someone tried to steal my rims a while back. And they broke off all the locks on my wheels to attempt to steal my rims but now I have purchased new rims so it's about time that I fix the broken studs so yeah if you're gonna buy studs make sure to buy a nut buy yourself a nut so you don't bust your nuts your new nuts that you're that you are planning to put on your car so buy a nut so you could torque it down when you install it so yeah shit super simple I'm not even gonna say yeah simple as that so I'm gonna get changed it's kind of chilly out here that's why I got my hoodie on and it's not that bright I don't know why I got my glasses on but it was bright outside but I came in so um, yeah let me jump into jacket of my car taking off the wheel and then I'll show you exactly what you need to proceed to move on with everything you need to do. All right, you guys, first tool I'm gonna be doing is gonna be the front right side. But please, like I said earlier, if you've never done this before and it's your first time, please be extra cautious. Don't use my video as a complete like tutorial on how to do it because every car is different on the components you take off and I am not liable for anybody's mistakes but yeah make sure to have someone that knows it or if you're just changing one go for it if you have five lugs all right if you have a four lugs and one's messed up don't do it because I don't want your car to get fucked up or anything because I messed that up before I didn't put it all the way in it got over here and it snapped off so that's my disclaimer all right I'm not liable for anything this is just how I do it and if you want to take some tips and pointers on how I'm doing it go for it but don't use this as a complete tutorial on this is how you do it you'll always do it the right way like everybody does it their own way and everybody can make a mistake on the simplest things all right so that for that being said I'm gonna be working on first my right side as you can tell it's already like snapped so let me take off this wheel and obviously jack up the car I can't take it off without that then we'll proceed to uh bang out that left stud that little piece of stud left and pop in a new one and I'll show you that all right let's get to it once you guys have removed the wheel there are two bolts let's see if I can show them from here this one that I already pulled out so I can demonstrate to you which one it is it's this one one right here and the other one's down, let me move this ratchet right here. You move this one and this one, and the top one that I just showed you, they're both 17 millimeters and they remove this whole caliper bracket. That will remove all this and then you can just move that to the side. And then these, well I'll show you how to take this off. So after you remove the caliper and set it down somewhere good where this is the brake line is not getting like pulled on we're gonna have to remove the discs and uh, you're gonna need a bolt that to fit in these little holes right there because we're pretty much gonna screw these in you need two but I only got one of these to put on both sides so you're gonna screw them both and this just pops right out so let me proceed to do that and uh, yeah so you guys can see it's pretty much just screwing it in and this it's gonna push it away from the I think it's the hub assembly, if I'm not mistaken. It pushes it away from it and the disc and the whole disc just comes out or the rotor, whatever you guys don't call it. Once you guys get this all the way in there, you hear like a little pop or a little click. This thing will pretty much come off. Simple as that. So pretty much all that did, that screw that I showed you, it pretty much pushed the hub back, well not the hub, the brake on the back. I'll show you guys right now, give me one second. All right guys, so pretty much what this bolt did, 
You see that dot right there? Focus. That dot right there. This thing pushed up against that and pushed the brake disc back towards me so it could pop off of this. That was pretty much it. It would be better if you have two so you can stick it on both holes so it can come out evenly because this is the other side right here. You can barely see that. And that's the other side. So it popped out. I had to like literally take it off, put it on that one, take it off, you know, back and forth until it popped out. But it comes off simple as that. Now, let me proceed to give this a good whack and take it off because it's literally just broken. So there's I'm just going to hammer it away. All right, let me get to that. So... I hammered it out now. Yeah, it's uh, very ugly. It looks like it's been rusted because I've been rolling with this for like a month. Like this, so... Yeah, let me grab the new one and let's proceed to install this. Alright guys, now you grab your new stud and we're going to proceed to install it. What I like about Lexus, most Lexus vehicles actually, some cars you have to like damn near like some like grind the side of this the like the head of it to make it fit but Lexus has like so much room like it's like simple as this like, all right, there you go boom so once you get that going you line the back up and you pretty much put the nut on there and like tighten it don't not use your lug nuts like I mentioned before because then you're gonna break your lug nuts in case something goes bad but what I like to do a little little trick of mine is washers I got a shitload of washers to add on the top of this let's see if I can do this with one hand add all these goddamn washers boom sorry if the camera didn't mean so pretty much all these washers are in here and obviously the back is not in yet so the reason for the washers is so I won't have to screw this all the way in so pretty much you get the idea so pretty much I'm screwing it on right there. Let's see if the back's good. Cool. There you go. All these washers are going to help me so I won't have to screw all the way in since I am doing this by hand. I got no damn machine, no nothing. So pretty much I have to screw it in until that back part is nicely in there. So right now let me pretty much, I have the nut loose still a little bit. See, it's still loose. I'm going to line it up on the back because I can't do that with one hand. So let me line it up and screw it on real quick so it can be like perfectly centered. So before I tighten this, like I said, I got this centered. I like to put lug nuts on here and lug nuts on here just to hold this bar here because you have nothing to hold it down with because obviously this is going to spin freely. You have no brakes holding it now. There's nothing holding it. So it's going to suck trying to tighten it and this thing wants to spin. So I put my breaker bar right here and what I usually do is like put my foot or just hold it with one hand while I tighten this one. But since luckily my jack is right here, it's going to hit on like up on it like this when it goes up so it's gonna hold it in place so yeah that's that's my technique if you have a better way of doing it let me know in the comments below but yeah let me try to tighten this quick and let me get this done because I still have to show you the rear all right guys that literally took me like five minutes to do because it's by hand but that was the fastest I have ever done it before because it usually takes forever but make sure it's flush see how flush that is right there make sure the whole back of the stud the like the back end is like pushed up against it as much as possible just if you feel like it's taking too long make sure the stud inside I really loosen this up and pull all these out before we try to button everything up and act like everything's okay boom look at that grab one of these lug nuts and I like to use like a wire brush or something soft just to knock anything off around this that could have like like shavings of anything of this of course shavings of this thing sorry my camera angle's bad i'm trying to do this quick make sure everything boom look look at that like butter all right well, let me button everything up let me show you pretty much it's like super simple so let me throw the disc back on and i'll show you guys right now everything all right guys now i'm gonna throw the disc back on I finally have all five of them so it's gonna be loose but what I like to do is grab some of uh, your lug nuts for now screw them all the way down I 
as much as possible so it can hold the disc in place because the disc is loose and it's going to take pressure to get it back to how it was before. Make sure it's, everything's lined up. Alright, once you got it like buttoned up like shit like that, then you can proceed to put your caliper back on. Because the caliper, and once you tighten all this, like all these with your tire on and everything, this is going to sit, it's going to get impacted back on the hub itself. Because right now, like if I keep on screwing it down, this will impact itself, but like I still feel like it's loose. And I feel like once the caliper's back on, once everything's tightened up in the back, everything's just together, this whole thing sits back how it was. But it's super simple. Just remember to put some lug nuts on here so I can hold the disc straight so you can add your caliper. So let me proceed to add the caliper. that's about it you guys finally got all obviously all all five lug nuts back on there it took me about a month to do this well not do it I had the lug nut, the studs there but I was just too lazy to get up and do it so pretty much if you can do this yourself and you see what I did like I said this is not a tutorial on how to do it exactly because I know there's so many ways you can do this and a bunch of other shit so this is the way I do it take little tips and pointers from me but there's so much other YouTube uh, YouTube videos out there sorry YouTube videos out there that everybody does it a certain way if there's a better way than this then let me know but this is the way I do it and this saves me what 90 80 dollars labor cost on because out here in the concrete area labor cost is just like 95 dollars plus the part and plus whatever additional hours they take doing it and this is just for one wheel so now I'm going to have to do the rear. <laughs> As you can tell, the rear one, the stud is not even in there because your boy too lazy to uh, do it. But yeah, let's do this one. And yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a lazy person sometimes. But yeah, let me get this one. Well, not this one. Let me take off the tire and let me get this one done. But I'll show you the process on this rear one so you guys can know the difference. Well, if you guys can see any difference on how difficult or easy it is compared to the front one, right? So let me show you how to take this wheel off. Well, let me show you how to install the stud. And not, not the wheel, sorry. Thinking of something else. But yeah, let me show you how to install the stud and obviously not take it off because it's gone. Yeah. Your boy lazy. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys. Now that we finished the front one, let's remove the rear ones. So the difference between the fronts and the rears, the bolts holding the caliper in place are 14 millimeters, and not 17. And I loosened one up because it's hard to get the camera back there and show you. Let me take this one out. Let me give me a few seconds. How long is this motherfucker? Damn. Uh, it has like a little sh hat shaped on it so the caliper is pretty much loose on mine hopefully it doesn't fall this is how the bolts look like it's two of these they're the only two ones that look like this in the back that I just saw right now and uh, yeah they have like a little hat shape so if it's not focused there you go so pretty much it's two of these that are 14 millimeters you take those off as you can see it's coming off sorry for the 
yeah that was my neighbor's bike sorry about that guys but just remove those two and the caliper should swing off just like that do not mess with the actual brake pads because then you're gonna have to like redo that but yeah let me take off the other one and i'll show you so once you remove the two 14 millimeter bolts set the caliper on something so that hose brake line won't get like stretched or anything and I already had and proceeded to doing the same thing that I said in the front so pretty much screw a screw in there and screw a screw in there and just go go until it gets untightened let me take this pretty much off see how easy it is to come off so I don't want to drop this so I'm gonna put down the camera and take that off and then proceed to show you the next part all right guys once you guys remove that put your disc rotor what do you want to call it to the side I don't know if Lexus is meant to make this simple for uh, people like us that love to do shit ourselves but it's like there's so much room back here obviously you know you're gonna have to struggle a little bit but like it's literally just go around that spring make sure it's a little snug in there boom so now like I said I'm gonna throw washers on it and make sure it's lined up and tighten the front bolt I'm not gonna show you guys me doing this because the same process as the front side was so yeah let me finish doing this and then i'll show you how it came out all right guys everything is tightened up the calipers tightened up everything is good to go all i'm going to do now is throw on the wheel tighten the lug nuts down and boom that's it guys so let me throw that on and then let's see how good it looks with all the lug nuts on it finally all right, guys, I'm officially done with all the wheels. They all got their studs now. They're all good. Look at that. That one's done. And that one's done. This should not take you, what, like, like two hours the max if you're just focused on doing it. Not even two hours. Depends if you already know how to do it. But if you are attempting to do it, please make sure you know what you're doing, okay? Because serious shit could happen if you guys don't install them right, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Ooh, this car needs a wash. All right, guys. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is a bit long but uh it's all the steps of how it took me to do it so hope you guys enjoyed it please smash the subscribe button throw me a thumbs up and leave any comments down below if you know if i could have done this even better all right i'll see you guys on the next one